We're back, people, and today we're breaking down film on Jerome Baker, Miami Dolphins linebacker. I would say this is the most consistent season he's ever had from a run defense perspective and in coverage. He's always been a very good blitzer. Uh, the play speed is definitely still there, but now he's playing with more discipline, more instincts. Obviously, would like to see him make some more splash plays overall, but I love having a disciplined linebacker play, especially when you have a strong defensive front ahead of him. And yeah, just a nice change of pace to see Baker playing so much better this season, his best season yet. So let's get right into this one. This is probably my favorite rep of the season from Jerome Baker. This guard right here, climbing to him to the second level, just getting a little chip on the D lineman. So he has to take him on and he just does a excellent job. Doesn't want to square him up here. This is my favorite part of the play. He attacks half the man. He recognizes it. He gets into his gap fills this but doesn't want to take him on square because you square him up and you give the running back a two-way go he takes him on half man gets low wins the leverage battle gets the hands into the chest and once he gets that he extends the hands to separate stay square to the line of scrimmage and he just beats that guard right at the point of attack really impressive play when you're one-on-one -on -one with a guard like this and this is a decent amount of space right here to cover but good job just fitting into his gap getting control, stacking, sheds that block nicely, and then finishes, you know, they gain maybe a yard on the play. So really, really high level. That's like high level linebacker play versus the run, you know, just an inside zone run. Uh, Baker's been much better taking on blocks this season. Obviously, there's still room for improvement in Baker's game, but just love to see the more consistent play that he's playing with on a snap to snap basis. Baker versus the run again. This time you get to see him fill into his gap but then the running back bouncing this to the outside and you can just see the play speed forcing cook to go out of bounds here he fills into his gap forces this bounce right here good job by van ginkle and baker on this play staying disciplined fitting into the run he fits into his gap here he stays square he stays disciplined he doesn't just shoot down because if he shoots down they could easily bounce to the outside and get this around van ginkle but just love the discipline play and he knows that he has this whole gap covered and he knows Cook could easily bounce to the outside and he just scrapes over the top of Van Ginkle and you can see that speed to get to the sideline. Probably Baker's best trait is his play speed. He's got really nice straight line, linear speed to get to the edge. Love the range that that can help with on the team. Obviously not all the time. It's very important for a linebacker to be instinctive, have nice change of direction skills, but play speed, straight line speed can also be very, very helpful to a team. Baker blitzing getting the sack on Zach Wilson here I would love to see Baker blitz more this season I feel like this is the season where he's blitzed the least amount and I still feel like this is his strongest trait um they're asking linebackers less they've had him blitz off the edge more just be like a true edge rusher but I would like to see him more lined up you know standing up in the middle either you know over the a gap right here they got him in a b that's fine but just getting him one-on-one -on -one matchups with a running back like he's gonna make them miss just does a great job you know getting into this contact and then clubbing swimming over could have even been better with his hand placement there but still is able to win the rep because he can out physical the running backs and also has the athleticism to beat them and pretty good hand placement was a little off there but hand usage overall at least he rushes with a plan and he finishes uh definitely one of his bigger strengths is pass rushing so yeah would like to see him doing more of this i know when they go into their cover zero uh it's isn't exactly the same because a lot of the times they slide to baker so he ends up dropping into coverage uh and that's just how their scheme works so it doesn't give him the opportunity to blitz like it usually would so i'd love to see more like cover one type things allowing baker to just blitz right up the middle get his one-on-one -on -one matchups with running backs and i think uh that could create a lot of more big plays for the defense here we get to see jerome baker in man coverage this is a very long broken play and he stays with the tight end the whole time does a pretty good job in the initial part of the rep sticking with it um, he peeks back, sees that the ball, you know, it's like a scramble drill, sticks with it, ends up making the play on the ball with his helmet there. So obviously would like to see him locate, but usually you're not, I'm not a linebacker, you know, 40 yards down the field, but pretty good rep here getting physical. He kind of overcommits to the inside, but uses a little bit of a subtle hold there to get back into positioning, stay in phase, doesn't get over overly physical to get the penalty. He's in perfect position here to make a play, you know, on their play action boot, throwing the corner route and then things get broken down he's able to stick with it shows off the play speed to get back in the hip pocket of the tight end he definitely has the athleticism to match up versus you know uh solid tight ends or worse you know he's not going to be you know matching up for some of the best tight ends in the league but he can play man 
versus some tight ends versus some running backs that aren't super dynamic like some of the best players in the league just getting him in these matchups like to see this you can see a pretty nice rep here look at him use this sort of the tight end tries to push into him and when they push you pull uh doesn't get the penalty here just sticking right in the hip pocket and then makes the play on the ball with his helmet down the field um not really expecting my linebacker to turn and locate the ball because they're never going to be in this position. It's just like the very rare time that you're 40 yards plus down the field having to turn and locate. One of the biggest reasons that Baker hasn't been blitzing as much from these alignments is because they having a man up versus the running backs here. So he's showing blitz, but once he sees the running back leak out of the backfield, he just does a good job staying in positioning. And you can see the closing speed right there as the ball is being thrown. Just really nice job. He's definitely a really good linebacker uh covering the flats like this uh, i think definitely i've always trusted him covering running backs down in the flats you know when they're not running anything crazy like any routes with a lot of change of direction uh that's where he could struggle but you know covering like these basic routes the check downs he's definitely in the right position has the speed to get there and i think one area where i have seen him improve this season is his zone awareness just being in the right spot zone spacing we'll get to some of that later but yeah i like to see this man-to-man -man rep uh having him sort of show blitz pre-snap and then get out uh, forcing you know the third and long throw here tries to dump it into the flat thinking the linebacker could be blitzing but Baker able to close quickly so nice play there by Jerome we got Baker on the back side of the toss he's to the boundary side they're in the toss to the field and he does a great job showing off that range they motion over he starts cheating uh, getting to his gap you can see him adjust to nice range nice ability to sort through the trash here active eyes seeing that there might be a crack black crackback block he sees 85 come down on roberts so he adjusts his path Rhea takes that angle then locates the running back again stays in phase with him when you're on the back side like this you want to maintain a healthy relationship with the running back you want to be like basically a yard where baker is you want to be about a yard back from him if he cuts it back up because you're the cutback defender but then he also has the range to readjust that angle and get down you know limit this from being a possible big play there's only about four yard a four yard gain and he was on the back side of the toss so really nice play there uh being sort of like a will that's definitely a will linebacker type of trait that you look for and he makes a good play love the range that he's showing on these types of plays Dolphins haven't run a ton of cover two this year, but when they have, they've asked Baker to carry like number three or the number two down the middle of the field running like a Tampa two type thing. And he's been sticking with these receivers. They kind of use Tyler Boyd as sort of a clear out defender to make this zone open up underneath. But you can see that he is step for step with the slot receiver. He's in good positioning. They want to throw the middle of the field to Boyd if he can get open because he's one-on-one -on -one with a linebacker. But being able to carry down in the Tampa 2 means he's basically becomes a deep middle of the field defender when number three works vertically. Carrying that really, really good play from Baker to recognize all of that. Um, like to see um, a linebacker that's able to carry down the field, not just a spot dropper. If you're able to carry a receiver that far down the field, that brings so much value to a defense. It's one of my favorite plays from Baker dropping into zone coverage. Does a really good job getting out from the play action. You can see the hip fluidity, the change of direction. Uh, he's just a hook curl defender. And you can see the range to come off of his zone and then go and chase the ball carrier that gets the check down. But just looking at this, he kind of has to get out off of the play action and puts himself in a bad position here to give Knox to attack his back right here to attack the blind spot. But he puts his hand on, flips his back around to put himself into a position to take away this throwing lane. And then once Josh Allen dumps this off, he sees this change direction again. Uh, not even his defender. He gets outside of Melvin Ingram. He adjusts that angle. takes a great angle. You can see the play speed, the range to get this tackle. Just an impressive play from an athleticism standpoint to recover initially with a change of direction. To close on this throwing window. Josh Allen could possibly still make that. But Baker puts himself in a better positioning. And then once he sees the dump off, readjust the angle. You can just see how fast he's moving right here. For a linebacker, just impressive, impressive play speed. Baker is standing up in the A-gap. He's sugaring the A-gap. He is showing blitz here, but he's dropping into a deep zone to carry the number two down the field, puts himself into position, and then makes a play at the catch point right there. Good job playing through the hands and not uh, getting pass interference here. This is a tough position to be in for a linebacker, but they drop into, you know, like an in inverted two right here. He has to get to the middle of the field. Once he sees the number two receiver peak, he just gets into his position, sees the hands of the receiver go up, and he just plays through it perfectly, 
really, really impressive play from the linebacker, especially when they're lined up in here. We can watch him make the play on the ball right at the catch point, plays right through the hands, and doesn't go through the receiver, doesn't get overly physical. Really, really nice timing at the catch point there from Jerome Baker. Here we have Baker spot dropping again, gaining his depth, coming off the play action, gain your depth, and then you see him dumping off to Singletary. He was doing this all game, just letting the linebackers get deep with the, you know, the two-man route concept, trying to take away these deep zones right here and then dump it off to the running back. Baker's expecting this. He gains his depth, gets to his spot, and then once he sees Singletary sneak out of the backfield, he starts to close on this, making those adjustments mid-game and squaring up, finishing the tackle. Baker's been pretty consistent tackling the season, better than usual. I uh, like to see him just recognize this right away. As soon as he gets to his spot drop, he locates Singletary. He's already ready to break on this. You can see him sticking that right foot in the ground to change direction to get out here on this angle. And he just puts himself in perfect position to make the tackle right at the catch point. Last play that I'm going to break down from Jerome Baker. Working against a gap scheme run with, you know, a pulling guard. Uh, the backside tight end slash fullback coming into the hole as well. He's able to recognize this pretty well here. Uh, King over from the motion. He recognizes the down block. Keys the pulling guard coming over. So he scrapes, gets down into his gap responsibility. And look at him drop this shoulder into the fullback. Just meeting him right at the point of attack. That is impressive, impressive stuff. Love the physicality. I feel like this is not what Baker was always known for. But able to drop, maintain your gap responsibility, win at the point of attack. Look at the play strength, the power right there. Get off of him and then still locate the running back and then make the tackle to limit this gain. Pretty much all Baker right here. Uh, probably could have, you know, processed the play a little bit faster. Maybe a little bit late to see it because Robert sees it a little bit before him. But he's still able to get into his spot right here, fill his gap, drop the hammer, drop the shoulder right into that number 44, and makes the play. So yeah, one of my another one of my favorite plays. It definitely his best play versus you know a gap scheme power type of run that I saw this season from Baker. Um, really love the improvement that he's shown in this defense. I feel like the Dolphins could still add a lot at the linebacker position. Uh, Baker is definitely a solid guy to have. I would love to see them get like a star next to him. Maybe that's what they think Channing Tindall would be. But uh, hopefully he can develop play next to Baker because that would be a lot of speed at the linebacker position. Um, and they both shown that they can definitely play some coverage. And if you have some linebackers that can cover, that is high, high value to a defense because most defenses do not have a linebacker or even multiple linebackers that can play some coverage. Uh, so love the improvement that I've seen from Jerome Breaker this season. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'm trying to see something with the whole algorithm. If you guys could leave a like and a comment. I just want to see how it works. If it actually would add, you know, some views to the video just this one time. So you guys could like, comment, appreciate that. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.